I'm Janae DeVica and welcome to Cafe Janae. Let's take a little trip to Mexico, but let's do it the, the fresh food way. We're gonna make some Mexican salad. We're gonna make it with hearty whole grains, beans, and lots of fresh vegetables. It's gonna be savory and delicious. You're gonna love it. So let's get started and make a really hearty filling Mexican salad. We're gonna start off with a base of brown rice. We've got about four cups of cooked brown rice here. Now I like to use basmati rice. Um, it's a type of rice, it's a type of brown rice that has kind of like a buttery, kind of nutty smell to it. And so when you cook it, it makes your whole house smell like popcorn. And it's just got a lot um, more flavor than regular brown rice. So I, I try to use that whenever I can. It makes things taste a lot better. Then we're gonna have two cans of black beans, um, drained and rinsed. If you wanna go the more economical route, you can make your own black beans. You just soak the, soak the beans for 24 hours and then rinse them and um, cook them on a low heat for you know anywhere between two to six hours, depending on how long it takes them to get soft. By soaking the beans in advance, it helps to um, it helps to start them in the germination process and it just it helps to get rid of all the enzyme inhibitors that give you gas and make it hard to digest the beans. So by soaking them you're actually improving the nutrient quality and improving the digestibility of your beans. Uh, so you can either use canned beans or do them yourself. And we've got two, about a cup of um, green onions chopped and about a cup of corn. Most corn in the United States is genetically modified and it's just been tampered with, so it's not good for you in a whole lot of ways. But if you choose organic corn, then you've got a, a whole food that's good for you. We've got a um, cup and a half to two cups of celery, chopped. We've got one and a half avocados, diced and about uh, two bunches of cilantro, chopped really finely. Now I like to use a ton of cilantro. Um, if you don't want to use so much cilantro, that's fine, but I like, I like my foods to have um, a really distinct cilantro flavor. Plus cilantro is a dark leafy green. It's got lots of nutrient value. Plus, um, just as a little factoid about cilantro, it um, has properties in it that helps to get rid of heavy metals um, out of your system. So any kind of like mercury or heavy metal poisoning you might have, it helps to get rid of that. If you've had lots of radiation, um, cilantro helps to get rid of the radiation out of your body. And it also is a blood cleanser. So cilantro is great. The more you can use, the better. Then we've got about two cups of diced tomatoes. Once again, tomatoes are one of those things that if you can get them organic, it's gonna be a lot better for you. And that's it for the main part of the salad. We're just gonna mix that all up. Now this salad is awesome because for a lot of reasons, you can make it and eat it you know, right after you make it and then it keeps really well. All right, so there is the base of the salad. Now we're gonna make the dressing to put on it, and this dressing is awesome. It's a cilantro lime vinaigrette dressing, and you can use this on its own. Like, I always make extra, I always make double the amount of this dressing, and I put half of it on the salad, and then I put half of it in a jar, and then you can just use it for dips or salads later on in the week, and just the dressing by itself lasts for about two weeks in the fridge, so you can make it and have it for later when you want a salad, and don't know what to use for dressing. Okay, so for the dressing, we're gonna put in one half cup of olive oil. When you're using oil, make sure it's virgin, cold pressed olive oil. That's gonna have the most nutrient value for you. We're gonna have about a half a cup of honey or other sweetener. Again, make sure that it's you know local raw honey or another healthy sweetener like raw agave. And then we've got four cloves of garlic. The garlic brings out the savory flavor of this dish and makes it really yummy. Um, and then if you like things a little bit spicy, you can just give it a little pinch of cayenne pepper, which I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna put in another bunch of cilantro that's been chopped. And then we're gonna top it off with one teaspoon of salt. 
and one cup of lime juice, freshly squeezed. Now make sure that you're not using canned lime juice or something terrible like that. That's just gross. It'll ruin the recipe. Everything in these recipes needs to be fresh, freshly chopped, freshly bought. Um, if you use canned, like, except for the beans, you know, if you use canned um, corn or canned lime juice, it's just, it's going to ruin the flavor and the taste and the vibrance and the healthy properties of this, of this uh, salad. So make sure everything's fresh. Here we go. Okay. Let's taste this one more time. Mm, perfect. So all we're gonna do is just take the dressing, pour it over the salad. Give it a mix. And you have got a really hearty, awesome salad here. Now what I, um, you can eat this plain, just serve it up in a bowl and eat it like this, or you can put it on a bed of leafy greens, which is going to improve the nutrition density of it. So you can put this on spinach or spring greens or any kind of, even romaine, any kind of dark leafy green that you like. And that will make it um, an either, even healthier meal for you. So let's put this in a bowl and see what it looks like. Such pretty flavor or colors in here. You've got the black beans contrasting with the red of the tomatoes and the yellow of the corn. It's just very, very pretty. All right, and then as always, we're gonna garnish it just to make it more appealing visually. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow peppers, red peppers, and orange peppers. Just sprinkle those on top. Just gonna give it a little extra flair. And then top it off with a few cilantro leaves. And there you go. We have really hearty, awesome Mexican salad. How did you like this recipe? If you loved it, you can sign up for more. Just follow me on my channel, or you can follow me on Facebook, or you can get a free newsletter and more free recipes from www.cafejanae.com. See you there.